one of the ways we measure this waviness, this sort of whether the jet stream is going around the pole like a tight belt or whether it's sort of a floppy um, undulation is by measures of pressure between the middle latitudes and the polar latitudes. And atmospheric scientists have for many centuries actually at this point noticed that there are patterns where <clears throat> might be high pressure in one place and low pressure in another place. And they tend to identify these changes from high to low pressure as oscillations. And so the North Atlantic oscillation is the relationship between the surface pressure in the North Atlantic and the surface pressure at the pole. So if the surface pressure at the pole is very low, then with low pressure the jet stream is very strong. And, and that would be a case where the cold air would stay up at the pole. And the difference between the pressure at middle latitudes and the pressure at the pole during that situation would be strong and positive, and that's called the positive phase of the North Atlantic Oscillation. Um, the negative phase is weaker pressure at the pole, and therefore the, the jet stream is, is not as well defined, and it undulates more, and that's the negative phase of the North Atlantic Oscillation. And the North Atlantic Oscillation is often made synonymous with something called the Arctic Oscillation. Uh, the, the, the difference really being is what part of the globe the oscillation takes part in. Is that the North Atlantic Oscillation is you know, this observed preference for a pressure difference between the North Atlantic and that has large impacts on us so it gets a lot of attention here. Okay. So the Arctic Oscillation would be? The Arctic Oscillation is more broadly the relationship between pressure at middle latitudes and the pressure at the pole. Okay. It's not specifically pressure in the North Atlantic, so it can be in the Pacific. Okay.